Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I want to show you how you can completely remove the background in a photo using an app that comes for free and pre-installed with Windows 10 so you can do something that looks like this. I just completely removed the background from my photo and now I could do whatever I want with that picture. I could insert it into a Word document, an email, a PowerPoint presentation, or I could even just save it as a PNG and use it wherever I want. All right, well, why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you step by step how you can do it. Here I am on my Windows 10 PC. If you don't have Windows 10, but you'd like to be on Windows 10, did you know if you're on Windows 7 or on Windows 8, you can upgrade to Windows 10 entirely for free. I have a link in the description if you're interested in doing that. I have a photo up on my desktop and I'd like to get rid of this background. I just wanna cut out this picture of myself. How do we do that? Well, luckily an app that comes with Windows 10 will allow us to do this. Go down to your taskbar and within the search box, let's type in Paint 3D. We're going to use the Paint 3D app to remove the background. You'll see Paint 3D show up as one of the best match options. Let's click on that. This will open up the Paint 3D app. Once the app is open, let's click on New. This will start a new project and let's take the photo that you want to remove the background from and then simply drag and drop it into Paint 3D. Here's my photo now in Paint 3D and I still have the background showing up in here. How do we remove the background? It turns out it's extremely easy to remove the background. To remove the background, we're gonna use something called Magic Select and there are two ways to get to Magic Select. You could either click on Magic Select up on the top bar or when you have the photo selected, you can click on Magic Select over on the right hand side. I'm gonna click on Magic Select over here. Next, I see a rectangle appear around my photo and I need to drag the corners around the object that I wanna remove from the photo. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna select just myself from the photo. Once I've selected myself, let's click on next over on the right hand side. Check that out. So Paint 3D has identified me from the background, although it really hasn't done a perfect job, but it's pretty close. You'll see in the photo that my hair is missing and I definitely want hair to be included. I don't wanna go bald. So I'm gonna click on add over on the right hand side and I'm gonna zoom in on my photo and then I'm simply gonna drag a line over my hair. What this does is this helps Paint 3D realize that my hair should be part of the selection. You'll notice that it's still missing my sunglasses on my head, so once again I'm going to drag a line over the sunglasses, and that's now included both my hair and my sunglasses. Now I'm going to zoom out and see if it captured everything else properly. I'm looking down at my fitness tracker and it looks like here too it missed a little bit of it. It's pretty close to the background. So here too I'm simply going to drag an add line over this and now it'll include that as part of the selection as well. If I zoom out, overall this looks pretty good. Now along with being able to add things that maybe Paint 3D missed, if for whatever reason Paint 3D selected something that shouldn't be included, you can click on remove and then just like we did with add, draw a line over it and that'll remove it from the selection. Overall though, I'm pretty satisfied with the selection and everything that's currently selected is what I want to pull out from this photo. Once you're done adding and removing, down below there's a checkbox that says auto fill background. What this means is once we finish here, it'll fill in the background where I was standing. It's pretty impressive how it does it. However, if I uncheck this, it would simply leave a cutout or a white background in back of where I'm standing. I want to auto fill the background. That sounds neat. So let's now click on done. I clicked on done and it still looks pretty similar. What's the difference? Well, now if I click on myself, look at that. I can remove myself from that position on the photo and I could place myself anywhere else. In fact, I could expand myself. I could reduce the size of myself. And here you'll notice the very nice job at filling in the background. Now with my image here, I can now use this anywhere. I could press Control C to copy or I could press Control X if I wanna cut. Similarly, I could right click and then I could select either of those commands, whether I wanna cut, copy. I'm gonna copy for now and let's see where else we can use this photo. 
I'm now in a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation and I'm gonna press Control V to paste. And there you see my image from Paint 3D now shows up in PowerPoint and I could adjust the size of this. I'm now in Microsoft Word and just like in PowerPoint, I could press Control V and here I pasted myself into my Word document. I think you probably get the idea, but here I am in Microsoft Outlook and here too, I can paste my photo into an email and just like I could in the other applications, here I could adjust the size if I wanna include myself in an email. So you can paste this photo wherever you wanna use it. Let's say though that you wanna save the photo. How do you go about doing that? Well, let's jump back into Paint 3D. I'm back in Paint 3D and how do I save just myself without the background? Well, let me copy myself again. I'm gonna go up to menu in the top left hand corner and click on new. It asks me if I wanna save my work, I'm gonna click on don't save. I now have a blank canvas and here I'm gonna paste my photo by pressing control V. I'm gonna adjust the size so I just fill up the canvas. Now that I'm placed within the canvas, I could go up to menu, I could click on save as, and I can now save it as an image. When I go to save it as an image, I could select the type of file I wanna save it as, whether it's a PNG, a JPEG, a GIF, or whatever I wanna save it as. And one thing that's very nice is I could even set it so it has a transparent background. So if I wanna use this somewhere else, this background will be transparent. Now I can click on save. This opens up the file save dialog. I'm gonna give it a name and save it. Kevin transparent background sounds good. Now I'm gonna click on save. Here now you'll see on my desktop, I have a new file for Kevin transparent background. If I double click on that, you'll see my image with the transparent background. Now one of the problems is there's a lot of space on the left of me and a lot of space on the right of me. That's one of the downsides of saving the image in Paint 3D. You'll get that. So how do we do better? Well, we're gonna use an app called Paint.net and I'll show you in a moment how you can get that. Paint.net is by far one of my favorite image editing apps. It's completely free to download and to install and to use and it works very well. Think of it as Photoshop Lite. It gives you most of the tools you need to use to edit images. You have things like layers, so it even has some more advanced functionality. On the paint.net or the getpaint.net website, click on the download link for paint.net and go through the install process. Once you finish installing paint.net, you'll see an application that looks like this. I'm gonna click up in the top left-hand corner on the file menu and go to new. This opens up the new dialog and for the width and height of the new image, I'm gonna leave these default settings. These match the dimensions of the image that's on the clipboard or my image. I'm gonna click on okay next. This creates an image in paint.net and now I'm gonna press control V to paste my image. This now pastes my image and the checkered background indicates that this is a transparent background. Now I could go up to the left hand corner, click on file, save as, this also opens up the save as dialog and now I could choose what format I wanna save this as. I'm gonna stick with PNG. For this image, I'm gonna call it Kevin transparent background second and now I'm gonna click on save. Next, this opens up the save configuration wizard and all of the settings look good to me. I'm gonna click on okay. The advantage of saving an image this way is you won't have any unnecessary space on the left and on the right of the image. I'm back here on the desktop and you can see the difference between these two images. Over on the left is the image that I saved in paint.net and over on the right is the version that I saved in paint 3D. Now with paint 3D, if you just wanna very quickly save an image and you don't care about the extra space on the sides, you could just save it through there and you won't have to get an additional app. However, if you wanna save it in the best possible way, I'd recommend getting an app like paint.net. Remember, it's free and then you could save just the image itself. Isn't that cool? And that's with an app that's free with Windows 10. It's amazing what you could do with all those pre-installed apps on Windows 10. If this video helped show you how you can remove a background from an image, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.